Welcome to DPP Technology. In the video Air Sensor Object Detection, we have made this project. You can see when we put our finger in between these two LED, this is the IR receiver and this is IR transmitter, then the buzzer turns on. You can hear the sound. The buzzer and the LED both turns on. And when we remove our finger from this gap, then the buzzer turns off. Now in this video, I will explain the working principle of this circuit. This is the circuit diagram for this project. This is a 9 volt battery here. This is IR transmitter. It is connected here. This is the IR receiver the black LED here this is these two are resistances you can see here resistances are connected this is a potentiometer 10k this is the 10k potentiometer here <coughs> and this is LM358 this is the operational amplifier it is connected here this is a 220 ohm resistance it is also connected here this is a buzzer and this is here the buzzer is this is the LED the LED is here. Now, the main main component of this circuit is the op-amp. In this circuit, the op-amp is connected in open loop configuration. That is, there is no feedback between output and input. If we have a connection between the output, that is this point, to any one of the two input, two or three then it is called closed loop connection or then we call it as it has feedback now in this circuit we do not have such types of feedback so it is called open loop connection in open loop connection here in open loop connection, the working is as follows. If we give a voltage to this terminal, this negative terminal that is the point number 2 of the IC, pin number 2 of the IC and if we connected this to ground, that is we are applying a voltage at this terminal which is greater than the voltage at this terminal since it is connected to ground and it is connected to let's say plus 2 volt then the op amp gives a output which is equal to the applied voltage but with negative sign that is if we apply here plus 9 volt then it will give a minus 9 volt very close to minus 9 volt but not exactly minus 9 volt now again if we apply a voltage at this terminal that is pin number 3 of the IC which is greater than the voltage applied to this terminal that is pin number 2 of IC let's say this point is grounded and this point is connected to plus 2 voltage let's say 2 voltage it is connected to 2 plus 2 voltage it is connected to ground then it will give a voltage which is equal to very close to this applied voltage 9 volt it will give plus 9 volt since it is connected this this terminal is called the non-inverting terminal so if we apply a voltage here which is greater than the voltage applied to this terminal then it, it gives output which is positive positive 9 volt and this terminal is called actually non inverting terminal inverting terminal so if we apply a voltage here which is greater than the voltage applied to this terminal then it gives negative voltage it inverts the voltage if we apply here minus plus 9 volt a uh, 9 volt battery then it will give here minus 9 volt battery mi minus 9 volt output now to understand the working principle of this project of this circuit let's first consider 
here in between these two LED we have placed our finger you can see in the video when we place the finger in between these two LED then the buzzer turns on and also the LED turns on but one thing you have to remember that you have to place the two LED that is the transmitter and the receiver in front of each other so, so that the light transmitted by this can receive can falls to this LED that is the receiver so to understand this working principle let's for the first time we place our finger in between these two let's say we have such a let's say we have placed this finger here now <coughs> if we place the finger then the light transmitted by this transmitter cannot fall to this led that is the receiver so if the if, if the light do not do not falls to this receiver then it gives a very high impedance it gives a very high resistance you can say so you can think that the connection between this terminal and this terminal is not there so you can think that there is no connection between these two we can remove this terminal here no connection between these two you can think like that if the light is not falling on this LED now if the light is falling on this LED then it becomes short circuit if we do not place our finger here then the light can fall directly to this then it will act as a short circuit you can think it as a short circuit let's say we have a connection in the directly direct connection between the, this terminal and this terminal so when light falls on this led then it acts as short circuit and when light do not falls to this then it acts as open circuit so let's say for the first time we do not place our finger in between we, we placed our finger in between these two let's say so that light cannot fall on this led now if the light is not falling then it will act as open circuit so there is no connection between these two point now if there is no connection between these two point then you can see the current cannot come through this terminal and it will can it cannot go to this terminal it cannot cause potential at this terminal will be zero so no connection no no voltage is applied to negative terminal and the current you can see the current can come through this potentiometer and it will come through here like this like this and it fall to this terminal that is it will give some voltage at this point but see but the potential at this point is zero as there is no connection between this terminal and this terminal so current cannot come through this terminal this terminal is connected to ground here you can see so you can think it is zero potential it is grounded and it is connected to vcc through this potentiometer so in this case what is happening is that the potential at this terminal is greater than the potential at this terminal and if potential at this terminal is greater than the potential at this terminal then it will give a voltage which is very close to plus 9 volt so it is the potential at this terminal is plus 9 volt so if the potential at this terminal is plus 9 volt and it is connected to and the potential is falling to this voltage is applied to this led and also to buzzer so the buzzer and led both will turn on we are placing the led you now with this resistance here so that the led will not burn so when we place our finger here so the buzzer and led turns on now for the second case let's say we do not put our finger in between these two so now what will happen? 
so if we do not, if we do not place our finger in between these two then the light transmitted by this can directly fall to this so it will act as short circuit so we have a short circuit in between this two like this let's say the current can come directly here here and it will can it, it can go to here now so current can go to here and also you can see current is coming through this potentiometer and it is falling to this coming to this point also so there is here also have some voltage and here also have some voltage now what you have to do is that you have to adjust the potentiometer in such a way that the voltage at this terminal will be greater than the voltage at this terminal so you have to turn you have to bring this pointer below here so that the potential at this terminal becomes less than the potential at this terminal so that our buzzer will not work and our led also will not work since when we do not put our finger in between these two then we do not want to turn on the buzzer and the led so here we are not putting our hand here our finger here so current will come here directly and it will give a potential here also current is coming here it will give here a potential but we have to adjust the potentiometer in such a way that the potential at this terminal is greater than the potential at this terminal so the output voltage will be minus 9 it will give a voltage which is minus so this is minus 9 volt and you can see here also connected to minus 9 volt this is so there is no potential difference in between these two terminal this terminal and this terminal so the led will not work also the buzzer will not work in this case so if we put our finger here then what happened i am repeating again if we put our finger here then the this led acts as open circuit that is there is no connection between these two terminal so current can only come to this terminal and enter to this terminal only and it is you can think this as grounded as there is connection here like this but the connection current cannot come to this so you can think it is at lower potential than this it is actually connected to ground through this resistance now so our voltage will be positive here plus 9 volt so our this two will have this two will work now for the other case when we do not put our finger here then also this becomes short circuit this led becomes short circuit so current will come here to here here and can enter here also some current is coming to this terminal also but by adjusting the potentiometer we can make the potential here greater than the potential applied to this voltage applied to this so in that case our voltage will be here negative minus 9 volt and the led and buzzer will work 